speaking with François Arias from the Netherlands. I am here in, uh, in Jena with uh, Dr. Van Ketchelem. Uh, we had agreed that he was going to operate me osteoarthritic knee and uh, um, we agreed that I needed uh, the oxygenium knee. The oxygenium knee, the Genesis 2, is the newest type of prosthesis which is especially the, developed for the, for the younger active patients. I am a young, young active patient and I wanted to do still some things like a little bit of work, uh, going out with friends, and I couldn't do that anymore. So the doctor, uh, which after having given me the second opinion, we decided to, uh, to go for the Genesis 2 uh, prosthesis. And he also, uh, in that same prosthesis, he has, uh, has put a tibial insert, which is called a high flex tibial insert, so that my knee also could bend more than a normal knee. And the fact that it is an oxygenium thesis, uh, the, that it is an oxygenium uh, prosthesis, well, at least 20, 20 years ago it going to least in, uh, in, my, uh, in my knee. So when I'm four, 45 or something like that, I will need a little revision, but this is the only knee at the, no at the moment for a young and active patient, which really helps, which, could, which can relieve you, uh, your pain and uh, that you get uh, work better and that you can uh, work again and um, this at the moment is this the state of the art and Dr. Van Ketchelem, yeah, now at the moment he, he has offered me and he found out that there was some severe damage also to the muscle tissue, to the uh, quadriceps, so he needed to do the total knee replacement and he needed to do a quadriceps repair because uh, w without that repair, the, uh, we couldn't get uh, the 100% function uh, of the oxygenium knee. So this all had to do, Dr. Van Ketchelem did work because the other doctors in Europe had liked it to do that because they are working for a total different healthcare system. I came to China uh, to see Dr. Van Ketchelem and I had a good, uh, good talk with him. And uh, yeah, he really... Uh, uh, he really was seeing that I was suffering uh, of the knee arthritis and that I was depressed, etc. And he didn't hesitate to help me. He treats me like a person and uh, not like a number, like like in Europe or in some other parts this, uh, from the United States. They also treat you as a number because in in, in Europe and in in United States they work with the same um, socialistic healthcare system, and the doctor works with the. Uh, Capitalistic healthcare system. That is completely different. You can don't you can't compare those uh, those two things. I came all the way from from Europe, from Netherlands to Chennai to India to see Dr. Vakata Shalom because I want to be treated like a human being, like a person, and not like a number. So that was mm, one of my main reasons that he uh, that he had operated me, and also because uh, you can't compare the the prices uh, with. Uh, for example, the, the, the prices from here in India are very much cheaper than the prices in, in the United States. As in the United States and in Europe, they, they, they ask uh, outrageous prices. For example, for, for a knee type like mine, they, they could ask you $50,000 for the same operation, which is also with, done with navigation. My doctor has done the, the total knee replacement with the knee with computer navigation, which is a little screen which the doctor exactly can see how much uh, virus or valves he needs to put uh, the oxygenium knee uh, in your body. So it's going to be exactly straight in your leg and not a little bit, um, th not, not like this or like that. It's, it's very important that the knee is going to be straight in, in your body because when it's going to be a little bit like this, and you, then there's going to be a lot of wear all at the inside, all at the outside, and then it wears, and then it wears, and then you're going to have a big problem. No, and in, in this case, this, uh, this uh, there can't be happening because I've seen with my own eyes the, the, the x-rays, and really the, the prosthesis the doctor gave me looks perfectly straight, yes. Yeah, he has uh, really outdone himself on my, uh, because I'm a special case, it really was a very complicated operation. As for, uh, it needed um, some attention from a surgeon, we, which really treats you good, we treat you like a, like a human being and a person. And only uh, the only thing which he wants is that, 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 you, uh, that you come good out of operation, that you, go back, uh, that you can go back uh, again to do your things which you always wanted to do. 
As you can see, this is the, the operated knee. We are now post-operative seven days after surgery. Now it's one week after surgery. I can bend it 45, 45 degrees, but this is normally going to need a lot of attention. And uh, But now at the moment I can, I can bend them 45 degrees. Extension is completely normal. And I can also work already oh, with brace, but Without crutches, so one week after my uh, after my uh, total knee replacement, I can already walk. Extension now, uh, the range of motion at the moment is 40, 45, but it will be more with swimming and, and that, that type of thing after the wound has healed because I have a very, uh, very some type of difficult wound. It is very big, so it need, needs a little bit more attention than normally. So first. The, the wound has to heal, etc. And then after that, I can work more on the range of motion. But for the moment, it's the, everything is going okay. I'm glad that I have a new knee, and uh, that I can, after my operation, that I can uh, go to rehab and uh, that I can walk uh, again um, like normally because I was very depressed with a knee, knee like mine. Um, I needed the changes of, of life because I couldn't do the things anymore which I, I like to do, uh, and this makes you very depressed if you if you're going to have a life like that, uh, all because of one knee. As you can see now, my leg is completely straight. It was it, it has a it was in, in X, and it was completely yeah, not it's not normal to to walk with uh, with an X leg like this. Now it's. If you can see, this is the normal knee, and this is the operated. Look at this, perfectly straight. Look at the alignment. It's completely normal. It has the op uh, operated leg is completely normal at the alignment. This is the alignment from the hip joint, so it's the center of the knee to your ankle. It's normally, and it was, and X was like that. Now, you see, I can do these things, which I couldn't do.